I, I love learning. I love telling stories through words and pictures. And this book, Making More, is the most exciting story I can think of. This is really cool. An author and illustrator is breaking down the big topic of reproduction, but it's in a way that kids can understand. So this morning, Catherine Roy joining us in studio with a look at her new book, Making More, How Life Begins. Catherine, welcome. Thank you for having me. I mean, I was just glancing at this book. We were just looking through it during the break. It is gorgeous. Thank you. So you not only wrote this book, you illustrated it as well. Yes. Talk a little bit about why this is such an important piece here. Well, I love sharing science through story and kids have questions. They want to know how life begins. They want to know how babies get out, how babies get in, how babies are born, where that eggs come from. That can be kind of awkward. Yeah, and so <laughs> I think this is a great tool for parents and educators to use to celebrate life and how it begins using plant and animal examples to take this tricky topic and turn it into an easy conversation for kids. Was that hard? I mean, it is a tr tricky topic and it's really a really, a, it's a beautifully illustrated book, but I mean, was it hard for you to find a way to make this sort of palatable for parents and kids? I mean, I, I guess it took a lot of research to figure out how to boil it down to the essential ingredients. Yeah, I mean, it's complex. Yes. Yes, but in the end, life is very connected because everything inherits genes from its parents, mm -hmm. and it typically takes two parents to make a new living thing. Mm -hmm. And this process of crossing is very similar if you boil it down to the basics across all types of life. So plants and all different sorts of animal species, whether they're fish or frogs or birds or squirrels, um, they all have this in common, this story of how life begins. And what else I liked, and which is kind of a shout out to the Pacific Northwest, is a lot of this looks like it was done right here in the Pacific. Pacific Northwest. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, I live in Oregon, but I actually got my start as an educator here in Seattle. Cool. Um, I used to be a deckhand on the Schooner Adventurous, teaching no environmental way. education to kids. Yeah. yeah, and I just fell in love with, with sharing science with them. And so the Pacific Northwest is such a beautiful place. It is. And we have so many different kinds of creatures here. Yeah. And you can walk out into your backyard and see so many different ways that life begins. And I wanted to put those common animals into this book so that kids can see accessible, familiar examples to understand this topic. This seems like such a great conversation starter for kids as well. I hope so. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, where yeah. can people pick up the book? Um, I will actually be doing an event this weekend at Third Place Books, oh, but nice. uh, you can buy them anywhere, any copies. And um, it's, it's just a great resource for parents and kids of all ages, whether toddlers want to just look at the pictures or a young reader wants to read through it with a parent or educator or an older kid can use it as a resource looking at the diagrams and things. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It transcends so many ages. Catherine, thank you so much. The book is really brilliant. Thank it's, you. It's just, just a beautiful job. Thank and, you. And as she mentioned, you can buy them really wherever books are sold. And uh, good luck on the event. It sounds Thank like you. it's going to be great. Thank you. All